Hey, he's been off for an enormous period of time. Let's expect for the Queensland side of things for him to play a, a, a pretty staunch role on the way home. Just looking at the knock-on call here, Shane Haynes saying that the ball went towards the New South Wales goal off the hands of Thurston. Looks like Thurston knocks back here, but he's saying the ball does go forward, in fact, even though it landed down behind Thurston. Let's have a look. Yeah, he touched it in front of the line. The ball landed over the line, so that's a knock-on. New South Wales need to stay aggressive here. If, if they sit back and try and protect the four-point lead, you know Queensland will come and get them. They've got to get out lead by 10 and then by 16. Really put some pressure on the Queenslanders. Gallon. He's been phenomenal, Paul Gallon, skipper tonight. I don't think he's had a break as Mark Gasnier takes it centre field just inside his own half. Quick play the ball for what man? Thurston quickly upon him. The Blues then. Some seven metres into Queensland's area. Here's Lewis working off Pierce on an inside run. And the 14, Cooper Cronk is about to come into the game for the Maroons. A kick high from Soward. Slater in a contest. The ball goes to ground. Knock on. Knock on is the call against Slater. Yeah, and big sense of timing now for New South Wales. They've got to believe this. They've got to feel it. The crowd's right behind them now. They lead by four. They get the starter set of six inside the opposition 20. Up goes Slater on Minicello, one on one. Slater comes down with the fumble. And this presents a brilliant opportunity now for the Blues to ram home their advantage. Can they show the confidence? Yeah, it wasn't a great kick from Jamie Soward, but it was a wonderful competition created by Anthony Minicello. Gidley, Soward, Minicello. Taken ball and all by his opposite number one. 22 out from the line. Second tackle, Gallon. Smothered by Harrison. Manor now. At some stage, Ray, they might look to bring Luke Lewis back on the inside, not give it to him, and hit the outside. They've, they've given it to Lewis a couple of times coming back in. Gidley then, and here is Watmo charging at the line. What a tackle. What a tackle. Seven receiver was in it. And he loses the ball. Sivan Seaver and Slater were the two that stopped Anthony Watto, who was travelling at speed. It was a lovely ball to Gidley. And Watmo just struggling for a little bit too much. Watch the beautiful ball here. Look at the speed at which Watmo hits that hole. Oh, he looks like scoring. Slater right on the spot. And now he'll struggle, 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 and plops it down. Greg Inglis then. Playing it inside the 20 meter line. Leslie Harrison does well. He played the ball 29 meters away from his own line. Cameron Smith. Just think for a moment, he thought he had the markers divided. And he played for a penalty. Cooper has gone on. And Corey Parker has come off as Petro drives the Maroons down to the halfway line. As Cameron Smith goes to Matthew Scott. And a lot of vacant space there before he found the defence. Here's Thurston punching it down. And off the feet of Minicello. Cooper Cronk is there. Jonathan Thurston is there. Gidley. Lewis, 10 away from his own line. Luke Lewis on the second tackle. Uribe goes in, pinches another couple. Soward for Gallon, gets it outside 20. Valuable metres, 25 out on four. Kicking early, Pierce down into space. Good kick by him. Long, very long. Yao Yi. He's got Slater with him. And Scott and Pierce make the tackle. That's a great kick and chase. A beauty. Slater. 
taken down by Lewis again on his own 30 meter line. Nicholson taken by Jared Hayne. Play just inside the 40 meter line. This is Cronk. Friday night, Broncos up against Dragons at Suncorp. It's live across Australia at 7.30, that match. Sivan Asiva, and that'll be followed by the Rabbitohs up against the Titans from here in Sydney at ANZ. With a kick down the ground to the Blues line. Minicello. You'd expect this performance from him. It's been comfortable. It's been complete. Paid. Yeah, it's been faultless as Michael Ennis, the starting hooker, comes to the sideline. Paul Gallant. That is hit up number 20. Now, I know he hasn't had a break. He's almost doubled every other forward for New South Wales in that department as Bo Scott steps inside first but flung to the ground. Ennis is back on. Hopawate has come off. And uh, Tim Manor takes it up towards halfway. Just negative look on the face of William Hopawate. I'm not sure what's wrong there. I don't know whether it's just a change that they've decided to make or whether he put his hand up. At the moment, Kurt Gidley is slotted into left centre for that young man. So it's played by Ya Yi, and this is Nielsen. Queensland, 12 away from their line. They've won the last five series. They're only out to break their own record, but what a record it is. A record of champions looking for six series straight. Trailing by four, and we're, and we're midway through the second half. Which means we're now into the final quarter of the game. So here is Scott. Out the back for Lockyer to quickly give it up for Cronk. And Cronk is well tackled by Ennis. Just near the halfway line. And Smith kicks out of dummy half. It'll bounce favourably. Well, it didn't matter. He took it on the feet anyway. Minicello, and he goes bouncing back to the 30-metre line. Injury up update down on the sideline. Andrew. Yeah, William Hobawati's come off with a hamstring injury. And Ben Cray, he went to the shed with an ankle injury. He's had a restrap. He'll be back soon. Well, Greg Bird is back out there now for the Blues. Just a short stint there from Tim Manor. The quick play the ball allows Ennis to find that man, Bird. Halfway line. Greg Bird, the lock forward. Playing the ball. And it's gone to Pierce. It turns it in for Gallon again. My goodness, he's done some work, the captain. He's had some sort of game, hasn't he? He's now 20 and 20. Here is Pierce. Now Lewis. Now Gidley playing centre. Now it's with Jared Hayne. Runs out of room. Puts a semicircle on them. Comes around. Comes inside the 30 metre line. And Jared Hayne plays the ball. Sad. Puts a left foot kick across. Gasly is after it. Slater's up there. Beautiful take, Slater. What about that for a take? I think he actually jumped past it. Look at the way with the outstretched hands he catches this. This is brilliant. He goes past it and has to catch it behind him. Swivels and brings it in safely. I'll tell you what else. Paul Gallon's found his position. He's found his position. That's, that's how he should just play the game. Play in the middle of the field there. And have a thousand hit-ups and a thousand tackles. Friday. Flung to the ground by Gallon. Now, Lockyer. And they are putting some pressure on the Queensland kickers much more noticeably than we've seen during this long combination between Thurston and Lockyer. Well, the next try takes on enormous proportions now. We may only get one more in this game. And at the moment, it is New South Wales that are looking more likely. Duarte ducks under attack and strives to pick up another couple of metres. Second tackle then. And a charge ahead by Greg Bird. Pulled down by Matthew Scott and Cameron Smith. As Andy Johns pointed out, Ben Cray back into the action. Inside pass now to Watmo. Bo Scott leaves the field. Out to Gasnier now. Gasnier on Cameron Smith. And Smith makes the tackle. He loses the ball. Picked up. Why wasn't that play on? Well, I, I, I'd imagine he's saying the tackle was completed before he lost it. 
uh, on with you, Peter. It always used to be play on. I, I really do think, though, New South Wales need to score another try and score it first. They don't want to get in a position where, the, where, they, where Queensland are the only ones looking for a try. They've got to stay positive and keep moving the ball. Well, they've just dropped short of a ground record crowd since the reconfiguration of this uh, ground. 82,300, the ground record crowd as it is now. And they've got 81,900 in tonight. That's an, an enormous crowd for Sydney on a wet night. Harrison to Thurston. He goes away short for Inglis. And Inglis will play it on the 30 metre line. They'll play it back for Slater. And here they come. Lucky it to Friday. Ball goes to ground. Referee ruled knock on. Now, this is the difference. Watch it, I have. New South Wales players getting up in the face of the Queenslanders tonight. Queensland looking for momentum. You've got the ball. You've got the ball. Ready, swap toes. I don't think there'll be any cautions here. The tempers are fraying. But some lovely pressure here from the New South Wales edge defenders. Up goes Pierce on Friday, the bigger man, and forces the error. It is not torn up. Let's go. They've got to maintain the rage. Let's go. We're packing in. That was just a screaming match, I think. Michael Ennis up in the face yelling at Thiday. Some repairs for Luke Lewis from Ronnie Palmer. Greg Bird to the 40 metre line. His own end of the ground. 12-8 in favour of New South Wales. Here's Lewis with blood streaming down the face. He'll play it on the halfway line. The referee, I think, will probably force a blood, a blood bin on him shortly. He's already had one treatment. And Greg English running back out on the wing, carrying his right shoulder, right arm. Minicello in amongst that collision. And there's English with that. Right arm in trouble. It's gone to Soward. Inside ball, Watmo. Beat Scott. Got it to Soward. Lofted ball. Cray is with it. Cray taken middle ground by Kronk in 14. And by Sivan Asiva. Ennis then. The kick for Soward. There goes the high kick down towards the wing three quarter Boyd. Back for Slater. Beats one. Gaznia takes him. 22 metres out from the Queensland line. Uh, the time clock says that the Maroons now start to have to get active with the ball, Rabbits. You watch the ball movement now. They'll try little chip kicks, offloads, everything they can to bring their big plays, big players into the action. Michael Hagen, assistant coach to Mel Meninga. Oh, shot. And that is a very good tackle. Mitchell Pierce. By Mitchell Pierce on San Friday. Here's Scott up and over the halfway. Those of you that have followed this game, Origin, since its commencement, will know that one of the hallmarks are the Queensland finishes. And here's Thurston getting it back. Inglis away. Lock ya. Lock into the 10. Oh, crunched. Luke Lewis. Luke Lewis. 